Hello everyone and welcome back to Yakuza Kiwami 2 in the last session. Some pretty big stuff has been going down. Ryuji has arrived in town with all of his goons. We had a little uh, we had a little stare down with him. We've agreed a, a time and place to meet. And uh, yeah, his goons are kind of having the run of the city at the moment. However, before we get into the full-on endgame. Oh yeah, Majimo is also defusing bombs now, and there was a weird sequence with him failing to do so, and blowing himself up, and then it was a dream. So, that was strange. <laughs> but uh, before we get into that, I did in fact have time to uh, to get the last bits of the Cabaret Club complete, and so, it is time to finish this absolutely massive side story. Absolutely enormous side story. So, let's get that done. That is going to be today's content, is uh, finishing this up, hopefully, assuming we don't lose, but uh, we should be fine. Right, let's get all of these people out of here. And it's our best girls. We got Yuki. We got Koyuki. We got Kana. We got Aika. We got... Shoko, we got Yua, so that's six of the eight, is our platinum and one diamond girl. All of them max except for Yuki because she uh, doesn't have any of those hangout things, so she didn't get any bonus levels, but it's fine, over 30 is good enough. And then lastly, I guess we will put in two max level golds. Uh, so what do we, actually, let's see what we need, what do we need? We've got uh, SNA, Elegant Cute. Okay, we've got some funny there, we've got some sexy there, funny and sexy. Uh, sexy and elegant, cute. Okay, so we probably, what do we have the least of? Do we have the least cute? Oh no, we've actually got, we've got enough cute. Uh, B, C, B, A, C, S. Okay, maybe we need some funny. Uh, what about sexy? B, B, A, 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 B. Okay, we don't have any S in sexy. Uh, elegant B B B S S C. Okay, maybe we want a, an S in sexy and a bit more funny. Maybe. Do we have anyone sexy funny? Uh, let's see. Ah, oh, there we go. Sexy funny S in both. You can join. Uh, and then who do we want for the last person? I mean, you've got A in three categories, that's pretty good. Should we go for A in three categories? Yeah. Let's do that. This is it. This is the dream team. This is the team that is going to win us this entire fucking championship. So, final stats. I wonder why it says Ica is our... It's got Ica as our person in the top left. Is she our top girl or something? Uh... Oh yeah, and I just want to show you that I had a really good run of Millionaire League, and look at my top earnings. I got an 11.255 mil <laughs> payout in uh, in that, and that was with giving people expensive gifts after they left to get more fans. So it was it was actually over 12 mil the uh, the original total before you deducted that. But uh, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, so yes, total fans. She has 20,000. We are up to 23,000. So hopefully. Hopefully, this will be enough. With all of our best girls, with all the fans we could want, with every place bought, I think it's time to get this going. Now I just need to remember what the fucking signals are for... <laughs> oh, right, yes, Majima is the host now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, apologies for the wait! It's time for the Cabaret Club Grand Prix Finals! I'm your host, Goro Majima! He's really owning this, isn't he? <laughs> uh, yeah, he doesn't take half measures. In this corner, the Cabaret Grand Prix champion, the Sotenbori Sunshine! Featuring the legendary hostess, Kirara, this club's a world-famous establishment with some real clout. In the other corner, the challengers, Sultanbury Forshine. Today, they aim to take down a legend. But do they got the skills to pay those bills? Hirara-chan. <laughs> Yuki-san. 
It's taken a long time, but I'm glad we're finally doing this. To truly become a legend, I need to beat you. The hostess world can only speak of one legend, and it's going to be me. It's never been about the status for me, but I can't lose all the same. The path I've walked, the girls I've worked alongside, the customers who loved us, I'll prove them right. This is where it ends, Kanzaki. Hmm, huh. you're just a motley collection of drifters, with or without inside sources, we're stronger. Now, we'll show you. Let's get this cabaret club battle started! <laughs> キャバクラグランプリ司会のゴールまでまで果たして勝利の女神はどちらに微笑むのか楽しませてよね負けらんねえな宿命の最終決戦ついにスタートやー果たして新チャンネルはどうなるのかああ、まだ、I <笑> Get our top girls in there, although to be fair, almost every girl that we have on the roster is a top girl now at this point. <laughs> okay, now we've got to look out for any any help needed. <laughs> Lovely, a tycoon that's very happy, that'll make some big bucks. Help over here, okay, what is it, what is it, what is it? Uh, that's the towel. Enjoy your towel, sir. Free towel. It just vanished. I put it on the table and it vanished. It's weird how that happens. Okay, she's popping a fever immediately. That's not going to be my tactic. Wait, did someone just... God damn it, did they just take a fucking person off my... They took the fucking tycoon out of my club. Motherfucker. Here's Yuki. Towel. Yeah, I'm definitely going to uh, wait for the level 3 fever. I think. Unless something crazy happens, I think that'll be the, the way to go. Okay. Well, we got fucked by them removing someone, and we're still only marginally behind, so I think we're doing pretty well. Shoko out there. Okay, you're about to finish. Can we get an extension? Oh, no, help please over here. Uh, that is the ashtray. Can we get an extension on the guy in the top left? Hopefully, because he's very happy. So far, everyone has been very happy, which is good. We've had the right girl for everyone thus far. Extend. Yes, that's what we like to see. Extend for you as well. Hell yeah. Big money balling. Okay, we've got our fifth slot coming in here. Yes, we got a person for you as well. Very nice. Can we extend you? Yep. Good shit, good shit. How the fuck is she getting as much fever as we are when she's already used a fever? What? Okay, we are we are powering towards the level 3 fever at this point. I don't understand how she used a fever, but she's pretty much at the same level as me. Okay, as soon as it hits Max, we're popping it. There we go. This should make some big fucking money. Go, 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 go. Oh, <laughs> I didn't realize that fixed the help needed. Someone needed help, and then I popped that, and then it was like, no, you're fine. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
you are about to leave. That's unfortunate. Ah, oh, shit. Both of these guys are about to leave. They've both already been extended, haven't they? Okay, okay well, uh, gracious send-off then. And for you as well. Okay, kid. Not going to give away any expensive gifts in the championship. That shit costs too much money. Okay, we are ahead now. But she's about to get her level 3 fever, so then we're going to be behind. We need more guests to arrive immediately. We need more guests to arrive immediately. Immediately, game. We are missing three seats right now, about to be missing four. Can you please have some more guests turn up? Please. Thank you. Oh my god, she's about to hit her level three. We're going to be very far behind once that goes through, when we only have fucking two people here at the moment. Very nice, very nice. Come on, more people. Come on, game. Put more people in here. This is crazy. We can't, we can't have a hope of winning this with fucking half the seats empty. Man, we are once again behind. This is going to be rough. This might actually end up being rough. One minute left. I wonder if we can get to a level 2 fever or should we just fucking spunk it on a level 1? Come on, more guests, more guests. We will have the oil tycoon at the end. So that's something. Uh, you're, you're our diamond girl, but you're, you've got more health. I wonder if it matters. Mm, let's go for you. 40 seconds left. It's not looking like we're going to get to the level 2, so I'm going to pop it now. It didn't look like we were going to get to the level 2 there. Guess glass. I might have been wrong there, but it really looked like we were going too slowly. Like, we'd get to the level 2 with like 10 seconds left, kind of thing. You're happy with fucking everyone, huh? Well, sure. Let's go with you then. Okay, we are slightly ahead right now. Marginally. Uh, that is the ashtray. Come on. Come on. We got this. We got this. Surely. With the oil baron as well, that's like an extra mil at the end. Assuming I beat it, but I should do. With our combined levels, we should be pretty pretty high up. Can I extend you? Nice, that's very nice. Cross the 8 mil mark, we're actually a decent bit ahead now. We're actually a mil ahead, but she's fever timing. We've got one more fever time about to pop. Gracious send off, 15 seconds, come on, fever time. Come on, fever time. Uh, fever time, go, go, go. Okay, I think we win. I think we win. Almost 10 mil to their 8, plus the oil tycoon. Here we go. Don't fuck this up, me. I've got this, me. Easy money. Easy money. Wait, they had 10 more guests than us? How the fuck did they have 10 more guests than us? What, did they never extend sessions or something? That's crazy. They were also giving out presents in the championship. 
And their staff salaries were like double as? What are you doing, Sojin Bori Sunshine? That's wild. That is wild. Easy fucking money. Easy fucking win. Give me that crown. Well done, Yuki. <laughs> Proud of you. 60 fucking mil in the bank. And the winner is... <laughs> Sotenbury Forshine! Yeah! Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> we really did it. Yay! We did it, Yuki-san! Yeah, we did. It's all thanks to you guys, too. And you too, Kiryu-san. So then, uh... You did great, Yuki-san. A new grand champion is born today. A job well done, Forshine. <laughs> <laughs> I lost Yuki-san. Kirara-chan. Yuki-san, you deserve to be the legend that you are. Looking at you tonight, I saw the same dream I used to chase. <sighs> I think the title and status may have gone to my head. I still have so much left to learn. Not at all. You are amazing out there, Karara-chan. It's only because of you that we had to push ourselves so hard. Thank you for a great match. Yuki-san, likewise. A handshake shared between two legends of the biz. Emotions are running raw tonight, folks. <coughs> Impossible! I practically sold my soul to the devil to come this far, and now I've lost! Kanzaki-kun, it's time to come clean. Why did you push us out of sunshine? Why did you take it over like that? I remember a time when you were an earnest worker. A little serious sometimes, but you always put the customer first. Sometimes the darkest path is the most convenient, I guess. What do you mean? In my time at Sunshine, I made a foolish mistake and co-signed a loan for a friend. It saddled me with massive debt. A financial advisor I went to suggested that buying out cabaret clubs would be an easy way to recoup. I see. <sighs> All I had to do was force out the girls making the most money and jeopardize the club's bottom line to lower its value. At first it felt wrong, but it paid so well and it was so easy to do I was able to justify it. It was going so smoothly, it was hard to feel guilt anymore. I was even considered a safe bet by investors. They told me if I could buy out Sunshine, they'd invest in what would become the Kanzaki Group. I didn't even think twice that I would be betraying my own employers. It was an obsession at that point. I may have been the owner of the Kanzaki Group, but it's not like the investors were patiently waiting for their returns. It was a constant struggle to stay afloat. I gave in to one too-good-to-be-true scheme after another. Kanzaki-kun. Be careful with success, Yuki-san. You'll end up like me, embraced by the cold, false hands of financial independence. Fortunately, that's not possible for me. Ah. You're right. Those temptations are dangerous, and they're ever-present, too. It's easy to reach out to them. Even I've been tempted by some awful schemes. I don't claim to be a saint. But you know why I never gave in? Because I'm too proud of the work I do. Of the club. Of the girls. Of the staff. Too proud? I owe a lot to this job. It showed me who I was. But more importantly, who I could become. I love my work. So no matter how easy the money, or how simple my life might become, I would never disgrace my club to do it. Yuki. So I'll be the change I want to see. 
I'll prove work isn't just a shortcut to wealth or to some final escape. If I don't, it wouldn't be fair to all the girls who put their dreams on the line to work for us, right? Yuki-san. Hostesses sell dreams to their customers to make their own come true. And if the club doesn't have their back, we don't deserve them at our tables. Right on. That a girl! Selling dreams, huh? You think you can see that through forever? My hands are permanently stained. I'll be back to challenge you to tear down those lofty words and ideals. Kansaki-kun, if you still want to try after you start over from scratch, I'll be here. Bring it. Yuki-san, that was the coolest thing you've ever said. I'm not cut out for being cool. It's exhausting. All the same, that was really well said, Yuki-san. <laughs> was it? <laughs> Pretty badass, Yuki-chan. Well, once more for the folks back home. Four Shine is the new grand champ. I've just been told Kanzaki and Buono have been arrested for their crimes. That sells that, huh? Yeah. Nothing ever settles in this business. Just like Yuki said, there's always someone looking for a quick way to win. Ugh, sure. oh, really, Kiyu-san? I'm tired of having to fight for my club. <laughs> huh. You'll keep fighting. You love it too much. Hey, come on! Wow, is this the first time we've seen backstage? I feel like we've never seen this room before. <laughs> Well, we're gonna get ready for our Grand Prix challenges, right? You always take this long with your makeup, Karara-san? Hmm? Hmm. I think I'm about average. Makeup is as much a weapon as a smile like a chan. <sighs> Since when is two hours average? That's long even for me. Hey, I had a pudding cup over here. Anyone seen it? I ate it, Kana-chan. <laughs> wow. This bitch. <laughs> oh. Okay, wait, what? <laughs> you can't just eat other people's pudding cups, you a chan. Come on, guys, get it together. We're gonna open. Ooh, what a shameful display. <laughs> oh, Yuki-san. You'll discover how easy it is to stay calm if you prepare for the evening in advance, like me. A hostess is 80% prep, 20% improv. Keep that ratio in mind and you'll be legends in no time. Yuki-san, you're still wearing slippers. I am? Oh, crap. <laughs> Yuki-san. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Cabaret Club Grand Prix. Today begins Club Forshine stint as the new grand champion. The finest club with a lineup of knockouts. Is this the end of the story or merely the beginning? The Cabaret Club world will have to keep both eyes on this place, for sure. Everybody ready? Let's go out there and be ourselves today. Hey, yeah! <laughs> the man with the plan. <laughs> I'm going all out. Hi! Sure thing! Hey! I'm ready for this. <laughs> Just another day in paradise. For our customers, for ourselves. Let's do what we love. Oh. Hey, this is our first time defending our title. Should we do the thing? Oh, good idea. You're in two, right, Kiyu-san? <laughs> Just this once. Is this the dance thing? Yeah, this is totally the dance thing. Okay, on my count. One. One two. Three. Okay. Three. <laughs> oh, it's great. The end. Good shit. Kirara has joined. Just in time for us to never do it again, I guess, because there's no reason to. <laughs> Where is Kirara? Am I being blind? Oh, there she is. Has she got anything to say? 
before we wrap this bitch up. Oh, Kiyu-san. Hello. Oh, right. Well, good chat. <laughs> Thanks for that. Uh, anything happen if we click you? Any more cutscenes? Nope. I think, I think that is it. That is it complete then. By the looks of it. Grand Prix News NA Championship is locked because it's done. Yeah, I think that is I think that is GG's. Damn, Kana had a bad night apparently. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Sorry about that, Kana. Uh yeah. That do be it by the looks of it. Well then. Well then. What a good fucking time. I can't believe I uh, just wasn't into that in in Zero. <laughs> I wonder I wonder what changed. I mean, it was definitely the fact that I cared more about the the like side characters in this one when we started with uh, Yuki and Koyuki. They were like I I instantly felt attached to those two. I really really liked those two. Whereas in Zero, obviously I like Majima, same as I like Kiyu, but the side characters in that was mostly just Yuda, right? Or at least to begin with. I don't know what happened later, but. I just, I just was not interested in Yuda. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> you did not, you did not make me want to, uh, want to complete it. So, yeah, I just never, I never felt the urge to go back to it. But then here, I definitely did. So, uh, yeah, good stuff, good stuff. Let's have a look at the uh, completion list. Was there anything? Oh yeah, I mean, I've got 20 out of 33, so there's still plenty I've missed. We got 20 hostesses, we scouted 10 times, we et with a platinum hostess 10 times, we partnered with 30 stores, we did not buy any dresses, <laughs> we did not buy any hairstyles, we did not buy any accessories, we maxed out the hostesses, we never earned 100 million yen, we came very close, 9.1 mil, uh, 91 rather, <laughs> 91.6 mil, um, so we did come close to that final one, we never got 300 customers either, hmm. Cleared all the story missions, and the other one is Complete Cabaret Club Grand Prix. So, if we did like a few more runs, we would hit the 100 mil, and we would hit the 300 customers, and then I guess I can just go and buy the rest now, just to get the extra points, I suppose. Buy dresses, buy hairstyles, buy accessories. I, I just do that in his menu, right? I feel like it was compl like this was a completely unnecessary part of the part of the mini game. Like it was never, it was never necessary to buy dresses or anything. Uh, like, sure, I guess. <laughs> Wait, you can buy them fucking bikinis and shit? What the fuck? Relive your first crush with this overwhelmingly cute schoolgirl uniform. You can buy a maid outfit? Jesus Christ. It's like... <laughs> wow. It's like, uh... There's just no... There's no reason to buy any of these, you know? Unless you just want to fucking put them all in bikinis because <laughs> you feel like it, you know? Oh wow, that's not many points for spending millions, huh? Well, it's not like I need the cash. There we go. That's all the dresses and then accessories. Do we need to buy all the accessories to unlock the max, uh, the max thing or what? Oh my god, that those glasses look horrendously bad. Spending spree. Is this what it feels like to be rich IRL? You're just like, yeah, I'll just have it all. Don't even need to look at that number going down. We spent like 8 mil, we still have 50 mil, who cares? <laughs> Easy. Money for days, yo. Boom. There we go. That's pretty much everything unlocked. And 
then these just unlock as you go, I guess. Wait, actually, it's, 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 it's not different for every person, right? Oh, shit, it is. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, right. You're supposed to buy the outfits individually. I thought that you'd just be... Uh, it's the same fucking outfits as well. It's the exact same outfits. I thought that you would just be fucking... Like, you'd buy them once and then everyone had them, kind of thing. That's some bullshit. Oh, well, whatever. Um, was that everything I needed to do? Let's have a look at the completion list again. Uh, yes. 20 accessories. Uh, oh, wait. Hairstyles. Where do we buy hairstyles? Did I miss that? I guess I missed that. Where, where was that? Let's do that then as well. Uh, these hairstyles? No. Oh, it's the first one. Oh, right. Wow. It's wild how fucking, like, hair changes someone's, someone's look so much. It's actually insane how a different hairstyle makes someone look completely fucking different. Like, the difference between that and that, <laughs> it's like, it's insane, man. Crazy, crazy, crazy. There we go. That must be enough for the completion list. Whoa, what the fuck did I just do? I just went into fucking camera mode, apparently. Yeah, there we go. Hairstyle's done. So it is literally the only things that I didn't do at this point. The 100 mil yen and the 300 customers. Both of which would happen if I just did a few more, so. That's fine. Oh, wow. And your massive reward, your insane reward for completing all of the things on the list is you get 20 purple. Are you shitting me? That's the reward for completely maxing out every single thing in Cabaret Gr Club Grand Prix is you get zero red, zero blue, zero yellow, zero green, and 20 purple. You've got to be joking. That is insane. That is an insult. <laughs> Wild. Is there anything we can buy? I forget if we even have anything left to buy at this point. I feel like we bought most things at this point, right? Did we, did we buy all of the... We bought all of the, like, helpful people ones. What are all these locked ones? Oh, right. They're, like, videos things. Okay. Oh, sure. Why not, right? Just max this shit out. Cool. Cool, cool. Right, there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of Cabaret Club Grand Prix. Let's save to commemorate this moment. Yoink. How long did that take? <laughs> we completed Cabaret Club Grand Prix after 32 and a half hours. Nice. Nice. All right. So, back to the main quest. Back to the main quest.